This is the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. A station that pays. This is MC Reggie Fresh from the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. And folks, guess who's in the building? He was born in Hampton, Virginia. He studied behavior science at the University of Maryland. He's a proud member of the Greek fraternity Phi Beta Sigma, which is the fraternity brother of Zeta Phi Beta, who was a five-star basketball player at Alabama State University from Youngstown, Ohio. Miss Liara Lewis. And he's also the older brother who coaches the six-time world champs, the Pittsburgh Steelers, brother Mike Tomlin. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome, let's welcome brother A. Welcome, 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 brother Ed, to the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. How you doing? My brother, what's happening? Ain't nothing to it but to do it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to talk about them Pittsburgh Steelers, man. Oh, man, we're, we're excited. Very excited. Okay. The first question I want to ask you, man, was you a Steeler fan growing up? No, man, I really wasn't. I grew up, we grew up in the Tidewater area in uh, Hampton and Newport News, Virginia. I guess the closest, geographically, the coast, closest teams to us were the Redskins um, and the Baltimore Colts at the time. And uh, I, my biological father was drafted by the Colts, so we kind of followed them. But, um, you know, I was a, uh, I was a Raider fan, man. Oh, okay. I, I used to All right. the, the silver. Silver, silver and black. And, 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 and the, Absolutely, the black, black, silver, and black. Yeah, <laughs> I just like the mentality. I was really um, a defensive fan and followed a lot of uh, defensive players. Uh, Lawrence Taylor is from our town, hometown too. So uh, you know, early on, I followed, I followed the Giants because I was a big Lawrence Taylor fan. So okay, I well, that's up. Defense, but never, ne never really followed, a, never really followed the team because we didn't have a, like a specific, quote unquote home team. You know okay, I mean? all right. Well, that's what's up. That's what's up. Now, what do you think about our season this year? Hey, man, I'm, I'm optimistic this year as, as I am every year. Um, I think that when you kind of look at what went down with last season and developmental uh, level of our defense, uh, it's a lot to be optimistic about with regard to, you know, some of the things we've done personnel-wise, man. So, um, you know, right now I think everybody's undefeated. Everybody's, you know, uh, optimistic about uh, uh optimistic about a good season, but you know in Pittsburgh we don't you know rebuild, we reload. And, yes, sir. Uh, every year we shoot that for the parties. That's right? what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Now, what you think our record would be? You got a guesstimate? Estimate? Uh, guess about hey, that? Man, I, I, you know, I I envision anywhere from ten to twelve wins, man, and. As long as we get to the playoffs, I really don't care about the numbers like that. You know, as long as we, as long as we win the division and put ourselves in a position to, to, to compete for compete, you know, uh, in the tournament. That's all that matters. Really matters if, it, if, it, if we can do that with nine games, we can do that with ten games, eleven. It really don't make a difference. To me, you know? Okay, all right, that's cool. Yeah. Now, did you? Did, I know back in the days you knew some of the players. What players would you have liked if you was a Steelers fan back in the day that played with the Steelers back in the day? You mean current players? No, I mean, yeah, all-time players. Back in the day, what would be your best player? Hey, man, I play safety, man, so I'm a big Mel Blunt fan. I okay. I think he's like a, like, a, like a throwback type dude, man. And actually, I haven't had an opportunity to meet him and see, like, how big he is. Yeah. It must have really been something for him. 
uh, to deal with him back in the day. I mean, even today he would be considered a, a big DB. And the guy is, you know, about 6'3 or 6'4. He wears like this big uh, <laughs> cowboy hat. So he's seven feet tall. With him. But he just... He just, he just, you know, for me, you know, he just, a, he's just a man's man. He does a lot with uh, the youth. I think he has like a farm where he raises. Um, that's almost like a group home where he where he raises, you know, uh, troubled youth. Yes, sir. And, um, I think that probably, I think that has something to do with kind of my my uh, affinity for him, man. But he was just a dog, uh, DB, and a big, big, big time player, man. He so, changed the rules. He was one, of, one of my favorites. Yeah, he changed the yes, rules. Sir. Okay. <laughs> Now what? Now what about your current player of today? Uh, what about, what the, about what again? I'm sorry, the current, what about the current player? Who's your Who's your best current player today? Who's playing now? Uh, right now, hey man, it's kind of hard not to like uh, Joe Hayden. Right. Be happy about getting him, bringing him on. He's a local guy for, for me. He grew up in Prince George County here. Uh, uh, you know, I know his know his family and. Watched him grow up in, in, in the game. He went to uh, Friendly High School, watched him go into Florida, and they had to deal with him as a, a Cleveland Brown for a number of years. Um, but this fun, I watched him and his attitude permeate throughout the secondary with the young group we have. I think that he was exactly what we needed at that time and, and look forward to him contributing. So he would be one of my favorites. Um, defensively, um, you know, I got a couple, I got a, I got a, a couple guys that I like, um, yeah, I like all the guys, but a couple guys have a definitive for in that, um, you know, Cam, Hay- Cam Hayward is a, uh, oh yeah, uh, he uh, bad. A pillar and an anchor on our defense, you know, okay. Dog. And, um, this- you know, so love, love Shaggy and miss him. Um, hoping, and then uh, hoping that, uh, young guy Bush will come in and, and, um, you know, as he's shown the ability already to come in and make tackles and kind of pick up the defense and take up responsibilities with regard to play calling and, um, you know, calling signals and, and, and rallying the guys. So I hope next year we speak, man, he, he'll be my favorite player. Okay, then. All right. Now, what are we going to do now, yeah. brother Ed? What are we going to do now? We're going to give give you a trivia question about the Pittsburgh Steelers, man. I know you're going to get it right. So if you get it right, I have made a song called Pittsburgh Style for Super Bowl Forty in Detroit. I'm gonna make sure you get an autographed CD if you get this trivia question right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Look, could you tell me who was this guy that was from Hampton, Virginia, and in 2006 he was the defensive coordinator for the Minnesota Vikings. He also was the tenth African American to play the coach in the NFL. And he was hired in 2007 by the six time world champs, the Pittsburgh Steelers. He also went to two Super Bowls with the with the Super with the Steelers. And he won Super Bowl. 43. All I want to know now, Brother Ed, could you please tell me who was this outstanding coach that coached the Pittsburgh Steelers? Could you please tell me what was his name? Matter of fact, you know him just like he's your brother. Again, Brother Ed, could you please tell me what's this guy's name? You got to get it, brother. You got to get it. That would be Mike Tomlin, All my right. baby brother. All right, then, my brother. Now, you got any shout-outs you want to give to anybody? <laughs> Not in particular, man. Just all the Stiller fans, man, and all the diehard Stiller fans, man, through all this noise and stuff that we dealt with here over the last year, man. The people who kept their head up and uh, believed in what we were trying to do with the squad, man. I, I want to give them a shout out because those are, those are that you that you that you like to win for. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the last question I want to ask you, brother Ed, thanking you for being on this MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. But the last question I want to ask you, could you please tell me what's the baddest station in the land and the station that pays? My man, 
man, that was that was the easiest that was the easiest one yet. Is the MC Bridget Fresh Morning Show? How about that? You got it, brother Ed. Man, I appreciate you being on my show, man. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, hey, hey, appreciate, hey, appreciate you appreciate you having me, man. And certainly, I'll be willing to come back, man, through the season and touch bases with you and your fans uh, and your listeners, uh, uh, your periodic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. And there y'all have it, folks, coming to you from Hampton, VA. That's brother Ed Tomlin on the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. This is the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. A station that pays.